glaube ich, äh, als äh, Theo christlicher Theologe, als katholischer Theologe hat äh, besonders äh, dieser Aspekt angesprochen. Ich hatte ihn am Anfang äh, bereits erwähnt, dass äh, die Theologie von Said Nursi und der Referentin sehr gut herausgearbeitet eigentlich an der Wirklichkeit ansetzt, aber diese Wirklichkeit nicht einfach nur stehen lässt, sondern diese Wirklichkeit übersteigt. Das nenne ich eine, eine, eine empirische Theologie im Sinne eines weiten Begriffes von, von Empirie. Und das ist etwas, was auch die katholische und auch die evangelische Religionspädagogik systematisch macht dass sie die Wirklichkeit als Symbol versteht, sie sprechen von Semiotik, von, äh, und von Symbolen zusammenwerfen, dass sich sozusagen in diese Wirklichkeit etwas anderes hineinwerft und umgekehrt dieses, was ich als Gegenstand habe, über sich selbst hinausweist. Und ich sehe in dieser Sicht, in diesem Weltverständnis eine ganz große Gemeinsamkeit zwischen einem christlichen Sprechen von Welt und von Gott und dem äh, muslimischen und islamischen Theologie. Aber hier zentriert mehr um den Begriff äh, Symbolon, Symbale, Symbol. Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, uh, um, as I said in the beginning, uh, this is not just a problem for the Muslims. And it is, not any, uh, it is not only the Muslims who reacted uh, to this uh, uh, problem caused by the postist uh, understanding uh, of the world. Uh, uh, and uh, I think it's time for us as a humanity uh, to work all uh, together uh, uh, to develop a new uh, concept uh, of the world without rejecting scientific study of the world but uh, by also complementing what the positivism is missing. Thank you. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, I think that too, too quickly we, we say that there's no problem in reconciling religion and the results of positive uh, science. I, I was reading Stephen Hawking's The Grand Design, his new book, in which he clearly says that given quantum physics and the law of gravity, the world can and has created itself. Uh, he, in another part of the book, he says that uh, free will is, is an illusion, that
answers which can be outdated. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for this uh, question. Uh, of course, uh, in a very brief uh, period, I had to uh, uh, put the problem forward and then you know, <coughs> mention the uh, arguments of the both sides uh, very briefly and lead to the uh, conclusion. Um, my reaction to uh, Hawking's uh, views is that uh, uh, Hawking is not the pope of science. I mean, uh, he, has, he doesn't have the monopoly to, to represent science. There are many other scientists who disagree uh, with him. Uh, so we have to keep this uh, in mind uh, first. Uh, uh, second, uh, uh, we have to uh, dissect what he's saying. You know, there are empirical facts, proven facts. Uh, and also there are philosophical conclusions one can reach out of these uh, facts. Of course, uh, each scientist may uh, arrive to different or opposite uh, uh, philosophical uh, conclusions about those uh, when it comes to the interpretation of those uh, empirical uh, facts. So, uh, I mean, I respect uh, Hawkins' interpretations of those uh, facts, but we have to uh, uh, keep in mind that uh, there are other uh, interpretations uh, of the same facts, uh, even in an opposite uh, uh, manner. And this problem is not uh, a new problem. I mean, when we uh, look at the work of uh, Ghazali, the well-known uh, Muslim uh, uh, philosopher uh, Ghazali, who lived in the uh, 11th uh, century, uh, so he was, uh, when he criticized the philosophers of his time, when we say philosopher of his time, that means scientist. Because at that time, philosopher meant scientist uh, of that time. Uh, because philosophy and science, they were not separated from each other at this time. So he proposed a methodology for the theologians. He said, we should accept empirically proven facts of what the uh, philosophers uh, propose. But when it comes to their metaphysical claims, we should not accept them. Because metaphysical claims, they are not uh, logically necessary conclusions of their empirical uh, uh, discoveries. Second, metaphysics is not the domain of reason, per se. Uh, it's, a, it's a different kind of domain. So uh, he was kind of putting limits to the, uh, to the scientific uh, uh, facts and works. Uh, so, I mean, we should respect the, uh, the, the, the discoveries of the scientists as long as they are empirically proven. But when it comes to the uh, metaphysical domain, it's a different domain. It's not their domain. So they are going beyond their, uh, their uh, limits. Uh, thank you.